Let's play New Vegas. Guys, actually, how about I play New Vegas, you guys watch me. Sounds better. Um, this is my precursor to the actual new Let's Play video. My foray into the land of Let's Plays, which is completely unpopulated and it's, I know it's like a totally new thing, especially Fallout New Vegas. There's like no Let's Plays online. So, you know, don't go search for them. Especially not videos by Gopher. Yeah, don't don't go search for those because they don't exist. I'm the first one to do Fallout New Vegas Let's Play. And actually, before I start my Let's Play, I decided to do a precursor video that just shows off all the mods that I'm running. Shows off all the mods that I'm running. That's right. I'm not just showing you guys. I'm showing off because I just built an amazing computer and I want everyone to to witness its awesomeness. So, as you might have noticed in the main screen, there was a little it was a little different than uh, the normal main screen. That's because uh, I have a mod on here called NMC's Texture Pack, and as the name suggests, it is a texture pack made by NMC. I forgot what NMC stands for. Um, it adds like a bunch of new textures for the game, like all these roads textures. They're all new, brand new, um, and they're just a lot more high def. If you're running on a computer, I mean, why would you not download a texture pack? It, the vanilla game. Even on an Ultra, it doesn't look that pretty. It is an old game, obviously. Oh, I already get weird things like that. Um, but still, with a texture pack on here, you make it look like a completely new game. Um, yeah, so I really like this texture pack. I, I downloaded a large version of it, but there are smaller versions. It textures, it retextures a lot of things. Roads, exteriors. Nah, that's not retextured. I know there are some mods <laughs> that retexture the females of New Vegas, but I don't have them in there. Maybe I should. Um, so yeah, I put the NMC texture pack. Another mod is um, improved shaders, which basically just kind of add add a nice, nice um, like physics, I guess you could say, to the. Um, the lighting of the game. I have it on right now. If I turn it off, you can kind of see everything's a little more like bleached. This one kind of makes the areas of light a little brighter and areas of darkness a little bit darker. So I like that. It's just a little small little thing. Um, oh, by the way, all the links to these to these uh, mods will be in the description below. And but before I forget, I know you guys all see the um, the bandy cam watermark up at the top of the screen there. Uh, I don't see it when I'm when I'm playing the game, but I totally forgot that that's there. Yeah, so that is I'm still using the trial version of Bandicam right now, um, just to see where this goes. So if I actually do start the, I mean, when I actually do start the Let's Play, that that watermark won't be there because I'll buy the actual version of the game. I will buy the actual version of the game, guys. Buy. There, there's that's the way to go, guys. Um, no, but seriously, I'll buy the uh, the full version of it and then. You guys won't see that watermark anymore, and uh, I know that's annoying. Uh, another another um, thing that you might have noticed right off the bat here is this visor view. Why the hell is there a visor view? Well, it's because, guys, if you have if you're wearing a visor, you should have a view through a visor. Um, it, so I'm wearing the Elite Right Gear here, and it, you get the Right Gear view. This is from Project Nevada. That's one of the mods. It doesn't just add a visor view, it adds a bunch of different things like enhanced uh, stealth Watch mechanics. They go quick. It adds like this thing where you can throw grenades without having to actually switch out to your grenades. It adds um, like inventory sorting, it adds um, uh, like bullet time. That deletes your action points pretty fast. It adds um, uh, a sprint option, you can sprint. It adds a lot of different things. It basically makes the game harder. It's, everything is configurable, by the way. You can actually turn off this entire visor view if you don't like it. Um, you can make the game easier Come through Project Nevada if you lucky. want to by just ch changing a little bit of numbers, uh, some of the numbers. But uh, personally, hey. I do like. Uh oh. I let these guys take care of that. I don't exactly want these secure trials on me. Um, oh, yeah, that's because I have NCR in for me. Anyway. Um, yeah, so Project Nevada adds a lot of things. It's a pretty, it's a pretty popular mod too. Uh, another mod that I have on here that you can obviously, I've been walking down the strip. You guys can totally like notice is that you can see all the way to the other end of the strip, 
And that is because I am using a mod called uh, Uncut Uncut Strip, I think. Um, it basically makes the strip into one in giant area. That's actually how the developers intended the game to be. But because of console limitation, those peasant con Whoa! No. As you see, there are still some pop-ins. Our own president murdered. Usually Things doesn't happen. Um, this will happen just a little bit. Um, yeah, so the... It makes a strip into one giant area, which really improves the ambiance or ambience of uh, whichever way you guys like it um, of the strip. I really like it, so I decided to keep it in the game. But I know for not so high end models or not so high end game PCs, that might be a little bit of a strain. This one is actually a bigger strain. It, it's it's free side, but it's also uncut so you can actually see all the way to the end of freeside the all of freeside is one area instead of being really annoying like six like uh, six separate areas which had to be cut up because of consoles damn console peasants just kidding um, that's also a really cool mod that I, that I liked having there it also adds a bunch of random NPC encounters are through here a lot of new content which I really like um, definitely recommend that. Um, let's see. Mod configuration controller is one of them that I, uh, that's in the pause menu there. If you look, this basically just provides the interface that other mods, you can, you can control other mods, settings, so this is, uh, Project Nevada. You can bullet time indicator, it has things like that. I have other mods in there too. So a lot of mods now have actually started to make use of Project, no, mod configuration menu so that's a definitely one that I sh should, should use my Pip-Boy so this is the uh, Pip-Boy Readius. some people don't like it because it kind of some people think it's too high-tech for um, the kind of aftermath decrepit world of Fallout but I like it one other gripe I guess I have with this Pip-Boy is the Pip-Boy doesn't actually come up until your character's hand all comes up all the way supposedly the the mod author is working on that but um, I like it either way. Oh, there's some fun fight going down there. In the the Mormon Ford is actually also part of the side. Um, another mod is Nevada Skies. It is an awesome mod that basically adds a sky. No, just kidding. So it adds better textures, I've the skies, um, better sun. You can see that glare. That's pretty cool. Um, actually, you can actually go and change. There's it adds some random. Uh, weathers too so as you're walking around you can get random weathers or if you just want to force a weather let's have it snow you'll just start snowing just give it a sec for the snow to start oh right sometimes it doesn't allow you to force it if it actually is in the process of changing weather so as I clicked it it wasn't in the process of changing weather um, so let me just do that again force the weather hit the snow come on Come on, come on, don't make me look like an idiot here. Don't make me look like an idiot here. I guess it's still in the process of changing weather. Um, that's fine, I guess I'll, I'll show you guys later, a little later in this video. Um, so that's a, it's a really cool mod, and it makes the nights a lot darker too. So I really like that, and you can change that if you don't like the lights to be too dark. I like it. You can, you can um, make that a little brighter like, it, like in the vanilla version. The HUD is a little different too. That's another totally customizable thing that uh, gotcha. is from a mod called One HUD. Save me, Veronica. I feel like use my gun. Um, the HUD is different. Veronica improved. She looks a little bit like a Barbie, but you know, textures are improved. Oh, I think she's getting ready for battle. What's she looking at? Her mouth is open. The only reason her mouth is be open at that level. Ah, oh, never mind, never mind. Um, so yeah, Veronica, that's a good one. So those are just some of the mods that I have on here. I'll put a link to the, in the description below. And actually, uh, I learned all these mods from uh, Gopher's video on Fallout New Vegas modding tutorial video. So I'll put a link to that also in the description. You guys check that out. But yeah, so those are all the mods. Um, stay tuned for my actual uh, New Vegas Let's Plays. Okay? Alright, see you guys.